Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. So, two points of a live stream. Managed to miss it. Go me. However, they have released some trailers. And oh my god, we need to watch them instantly. Because not only is Sunday here, but they, from what I think, have released the first look at the new planet and the lore. And I am so excited. So, let's delve straight in and see what is up and coming in Hawkeye Star Rail. I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to start off with the 2.7 trailer, a new venture on the 8th dawn. And we know that Sunday is coming out. So <laughs> who knows what they're doing? Let's give it a watch. Oh, welcome to the party car, nameless. Would you like to have a drink, a snack, or commence party time? We may not be able to get a party started right now, but please feel free to relax and unwind here. That looks like a nice bath. The stars are numerous, and yet <gasps> widely scattered. Oh, oh my god! Is, oh. Dreams of a past life are now all gone. Oh. <laughs> Though the cosmos oh, stretches yeah. far and wide, as long as we hold each other in our thoughts, there will always be a chance for reunion. Oh, she seems so different. Before I leave Panacone, I'd like to take some time to look back. Oh. Who knows who been vanished? The blame is pinned on you with the chocolates going around. Echoes of the oh, past. Wow. You need not fade away. Oh, it's Alfie looks dope. Follow me. To the stars! Should one desire to leave the stage for good... <gasps> one must first step back onto the stage. a couple of things there first of all so we obviously found out at the end of the Zhenzhou quest that we knew that Ting Yun had basically been brought back we don't know why we don't know how I'm so excited though that she is returning we get to see what's happened and yeah I'm very curious about the lines that were said here about like have you ever wished you could get revenge on them and then it was like hurt her on the screen that was very peculiar um i know there has been some like drip images of her to like her to not the puppet her but her to herself who is potentially going to be coming in very very soon so it's clearly going to link to that I'm very excited for it. Obviously, we're getting some kind of redemption arc for Sunday or potentially Sunday just still kind of being a bit evil. I mean, he is becoming playable, but that doesn't necessarily mean a character is going to become good. They're just becoming playable. So also, I'm interested to see how they're going to develop the Sunday story because obviously he's leaving Penacone, as he said himself, and he was kind of, it looks like he's going to kind of be essentially going through what happened and either redeeming himself or he's going to be just kind of like figuring out what happened what went wrong does he regret things or not i'm quite surprised that they're doing it like this soon i kind of thought that they this was going to extend out into the future and we would come across him again in the future so i'm quite curious how that's going to work and also i'm curious if robin's going to be in this and whether or not him and robin are going to like reunite as well and yeah just like how this is going to work i will say ting yun as well seemed a bit different so i am quite curious what has happened to her and what's been done and what she went through but also as well the ting yun that we met before wasn't her so 
yeah, I guess this could just be who she actually is and what she's actually like. So I'm very curious. They've, they've definitely got a lot in this version that's going to interest me. And I really hope that they essentially give a very satisfying end to the Penacone story because I guess this is like the final this will be the final part right like this will be the final version I think before we then go into version three I think so I might be wrong but I think so so I'm definitely going to be interested to see how they finish off Penacone because I think there definitely are a few questions that I still would like answered. There definitely are things that they could address and yeah it, it, I'm just curious in general how they're going to do Sunday's story in particular because I am quite surprised they're doing it this soon but I am excited for it I think it's going to be very very good but yeah oh I'm very hyped though oh my goodness ah the other trailer that they released is called the golden epic trailer Amphorus Saga of Heroes so I'm pretty sure that's the name of the planet that we were told to go to but it's like off the rails so I'm really curious how this is going to tie in obviously it was Black Swan I think that told us about this planet so clearly this is where we're going next but yeah what does this mean so I'm presuming this is going to be a lore trailer let's dive straight in very excited in the legends beginning the world was pure chaos. Oh, lovely VA work. Then the gods cast down the core flames and the titans were born within. Oh! Three titans carved the Ooh, heavens like and Greek. earth. Three like... wove the threads of fate. Yeah, this is like... Three it's... molded life with their hands and three guided Calamity's gate. Ooh. The titans blaze enlightened civilizations. <gasps> People oh my of all god, is realms this thrived endlessly. Greek mythology? Oh my god. But the golden age was fleeting. I've also trialized. And from beyond the sky came the heretical black tide. Ooh. Its gloom was darker than death itself. Oh wow. Driving the titans to madness and the mortals to mutual war. Love this already. Whoa. The strife broke out across the land and the stain of blood consumed the light of dawn. As the gods waged war, the sun itself grew quiet in awe. A millennium of divine conflict left only a shattered world and an age of darkness. I'm obsessed already. Oh my god. The core flames flickered and dimmed, and the age of the gods met its end. Golden blood fell to the ground as a distant oh. prophecy resounded. Holy shit, the imagery. Flow, <gasps> golden blood. Of course, like Elden Ring. Wow. Converge into a boiling river that flows to the heroic heirs of this world. Aglaia the Gold Weaver, you must gently caress the holy city's silken web and hearken to the sounds and voices of destiny. Oh, wow. There shall be the three-faced messenger traversing through myriad doors, bearing tidings to you from hundreds of worlds. And Exagoras the Foolish has enough knowledge to refute faith and to stir up a torrent capable of slaying gods. Go seek the priest who severs dawn from dusk and let the sky become the slumbering cot from which she wakes. Make him roar, my most the undying. Pierce the enemy's king with Kremlin's blood. Oh my god! Set her in motion, Cypher of the fleet footed. Command the frozen time to once again flare. That kind of remind me of the, And that servant of the hand shadow, the dog of the river sticks. Like the flame chase. Would they call the flame chase? the right to embrace. Can't remind me of then that. even frozen death. Will sleep peacefully wait, is that Elysia? Wait, that's not Elysia. But wait, you is this like the flame chase equivalent? This reverberating through the storm. Wait. You will see outlanders from faraway realms visiting under the veil of gloom. So until really the journey's similar. end, when the titans of old have all fallen, and the nameless new king ascends the throne alongside countless heroes. Wait. To embark Ooh. on the grand mission of the universe. I gaze towards the distant future, 
where the sun shall etch the footprints of humanity. This is just so oh much. The God. children oh, wow. of humankind, known oh. as the Chrysos As, shall pluck the god's core flames and once oh. more uphold the world. Oh. The flame chase is a journey of constant loss, <laughs> yes. among which even life itself holds little oh. value. Oh, interesting. Okay. Therefore, we cast even ourselves into the flame. Oh, wait. Only to inscribe the opening stroke in the poem of creation. Heroes' journeys in the universe are just dice tosses they threw on a whim. Whoa, her voice! Will your answer be any different, Amphorius? Stop it! <laughs> no way! Of course, this will be a romantic story like none that has come before. You think so too, right? What? Huh? Who's at the end? Guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's the flame chasers! Oh my god. There was a couple of them that were pretty similar. I'm fairly certain Elysia was in there. That was that must have been Kevin at the end. Must have been. But there was a few that were relatively similar, actually. And I was kind of thinking, oh, that sort of looks like this one, and that kind of looks like this one. Like, yeah, like. It's kind of comparable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, with even without the flame chase stuff, I am already in love. Holy shit. The Greek mythology basis. Oh, I'm living. Oh, I love Greek mythology as well. Oh my god. I want to like scour over this trailer and find like every single reference and what it could mean. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm a bit of like a history nerd. Um, so I'm very excited. Oh, I do love like Titan lore and stuff like that too. That's amazing. That's so good. Oh my, my, oh, my hype level for this is up there already. The characters all look incredible. I'm very curious about the couple at the end. But yeah, they all seem to kind of represent, obviously, different things. It was talking about these kind of different heroes. I think there was 12 of them as well. So obviously, that is very comparable to the Flame Chasers. And I'm curious as to how that story is going to be in line with that as well so hyped i'm hyped as hell the character designs already look beautiful the hurts a bit at the end first of all was not expecting her voice to be that different like i mean you could hear it in like the tone but it was different and that threw me a little bit into excitement <laughs> i'm so excited for this oh my gosh i feel like i can't say anything other than oh my god yes please oh dudes this no this has to be the thing i've been most hype about this looks amazing though oh man i'm so curious like how is her gonna tie into this like the real herta oh and then who was the girl at the end like i didn't recognize it. i'm trying to think like if she looks familiar but Pink hair and a, and blue eyes? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if she's meant to look familiar, but she doesn't look that familiar to me, to be honest. I was, I was wondering, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of wondering if this was in some way going to link to Acheron. Because obviously, Raiden May is part of the Flame Chasers in the original, but potentially not. I mean, some of these do look quite different. But I will say, oh, is she a, f is she a, f oh no, she does look different. I was going to say, is the girl at the end of Flame Chaser? But maybe. But yeah, he looks quite similar. Obviously, we never truly saw the guy's face, but what was he called? Cal was it Calpass or something like that? We also did have a girl that was like a cat in the original in Honkai Impact, but I could not remember her name. For the life of me, I cannot remember. She, she looks like Elysia, but like with purple hair is it a pink oh unless is the girl with the pink hair meant to be elysia wait i need to check what elysia looked like my brain like because i thought she looked like this but maybe i've got it mixed up hang on yeah because she reminds me of like pardifelis this is definitely kevin i thought this would be elysia because of the ears but actually this is more purple so potentially maybe the 
this is meant to be Elysia, although I'm fairly certain Elysia didn't have green eyes. So maybe it's kind of just like a mix. And then also the... Unfortunately, this isn't Sue, but it does kind of look like him. But I did think that she does look a little bit like a ponia. So there are some comparisons. Obviously, the main missing figures, obviously, Raiden May, Sakura, and I mean, there's a, a Grisio, of course. Um, oh, God, this is a real test. <laughs> This is a real, a real test. I can see her face in my head. I can't remember her, the punchy one. I've completely forgotten her name in my excitement. But yeah, like there are a couple, but there are some that are hidden. So like we could have it like Grisio, Sakura. There could be a few in here, potentially. I don't, I don't know. But the designs are really interesting. I'm very curious to see what they're gonna do but from what i vaguely remember the flame chases in the original honkai impact played the role of like they essentially were trying to like save they were saving the world but they did have to sacrifice themselves from what i remember so i don't know how that's quite gonna tie in but i am very excited to find out oh man oh Dudes, this is a this was hype as hell. I'm so freaking excited for this. Anyways, what did you think of this live stream? What did you think of these trailers? Please let me know down in the comments below. Are you hyped about this? And if so, which characters are you most hyped to see? Or out of all the flame chases, which ones do you hope that they have the Honkai Impact equivalent? Well, Honkai Star Rail Impact equivalent for? Let me know. <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> but yeah let me know down in the comments below and yeah don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more honkai impact content i do have some to catch up with so i am planning on doing some videos very very soon and obviously when the sunday content comes out i definitely want to cover that because i'm i want to finish up the penacony story because i'm very curious how they're going to finish up his story i also want to see what they've done with ting yun as well and yeah i'm pretty hyped for that so let me know what you think and what you're excited for and yeah i'll catch you very very soon i hope you have an amazing rest See you day. Bye.